Welcome to Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the top lessons from The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. If you're ready to unlock the secrets within this book and gain valuable insights, let's dive right in. Lesson 1. Accepting the inevitability of pain and suffering in life and learning to embrace it rather than avoid it. Life is full of ups and downs, and pain and suffering are inevitable. It is important to accept this fact and learn to embrace it rather than avoid it. Avoiding pain and suffering only leads to more pain and suffering in the long run. By embracing it, you can learn from it and grow as a person. For example, if you experience a breakup, instead of avoiding the pain by distracting yourself with other things, you can embrace the pain and use it as an opportunity to reflect on what went wrong and how you can improve yourself for future relationships. By accepting the inevitability of pain and suffering, you can also appreciate the good times in life even more. Life is a balance of both good and bad, and by embracing both, you can live a more fulfilling life. Lesson 2. Understanding that not everything in life is worth caring about, and learning to prioritize what truly matters. In life, there are countless things that can demand your attention and energy. However, not all of them are worth caring about. It's important to learn how to prioritize what truly matters to you. This means taking a step back and evaluating what is truly important in your life. For example, you may find yourself getting caught up in the drama of social media or the latest celebrity gossip. While these things may be entertaining, they ultimately have little impact on your life. Instead, you could focus on building meaningful relationships with loved ones or pursuing a passion that brings you joy and fulfillment. Learning to prioritize what truly matters can also help you avoid burnout. If you're constantly trying to please everyone and take on every task that comes your way, you'll quickly become overwhelmed. By focusing on what truly matters, you can conserve your energy and avoid spreading yourself too thin. Ultimately, Understanding that not everything in life is worth caring about is a key component of living a fulfilling and meaningful life. By learning to prioritize what truly matters, you can focus your energy on the things that bring you joy and fulfillment, and let go of the rest. Lesson 3. Recognizing the importance of taking responsibility for one's own life and choices, rather than blaming external factors. Taking responsibility for your own life and choices is crucial for personal growth and development. Blaming external factors for your problems and failures only leads to a victim mentality and a lack of control over your own life. By taking ownership of your choices and actions, you empower yourself to make positive changes and achieve your goals. For example, if you constantly blame your boss for your unhappiness at work, you are giving away your power to make changes. Instead, you can take responsibility for your own career and explore other job opportunities or work on improving your skills to advance in your current position. Similarly, if you blame your past or upbringing for your current struggles, you are limiting your potential for growth and change. By acknowledging your past but taking responsibility for your present and future, you can break free from negative patterns and create a better life for yourself. Ultimately, Taking responsibility for your own life and choices requires courage and self-awareness. It means accepting that you have the power to shape your own destiny and that you are responsible for your own happiness and success. Lesson 4. Embracing vulnerability and authenticity, rather than trying to constantly project a perfect image to others. It's easy to fall into the trap of trying to present a perfect image to others. You might think that if you appear flawless, people will like you more and respect you. However, this is a false belief. People are drawn to authenticity and vulnerability. When you show your true self, flaws and all, you create a deeper connection with others. They can relate to you and see that you're human, just like them. For example, imagine you're at a job interview. You could try to present yourself as the perfect candidate, with no weaknesses or flaws but this would come across as insincere and unrelatable. Instead, if you're honest about your strengths and weaknesses, you'll come across as more authentic and trustworthy. The interviewer will appreciate your honesty and be more likely to hire you. Similarly, in your personal relationships, it's important to be vulnerable and authentic. If you're always trying to appear perfect, 
your friends and family might feel like they can't relate to you. But if you're open about your struggles and challenges, they'll be more likely to support you and share their own experiences. In short, embracing vulnerability and authenticity is key to building strong relationships and living a fulfilling life. Don't be afraid to show your true self, flaws and all. It's what makes you human, and it's what people will love about you. Lesson 5. Learning to say no to things that don't align with one's values or goals, and setting healthy boundaries. It's important to recognize that your time and energy are limited resources. You can't say yes to everything without sacrificing something else. Therefore, it's crucial to learn to say no to things that don't align with your values or goals. This means being honest with yourself about what's important to you and what isn't. For example, if you value spending time with your family, you might say no to working overtime on weekends. Setting healthy boundaries is also essential. This means being clear about what you will and won't tolerate from others. For example, if someone is constantly disrespecting you, you might set a boundary by telling them that their behavior is unacceptable and that you won't tolerate it. Learning to say no and setting healthy boundaries can be challenging, especially if you're used to people pleasing or avoiding conflict. However, it's crucial for your well-being and happiness. By saying no to things that don't align with your values or goals and setting healthy boundaries, you'll have more time and energy for the things that matter most to you. Lesson 6. Understanding that failure and mistakes are a natural part of growth and learning, and not something to be feared or avoided. Making mistakes and experiencing failure is a natural part of growth and learning. It is important to understand that these experiences are not something to be feared or avoided, but rather embraced as opportunities for growth. When you make a mistake or experience failure, it is an opportunity to learn from your mistakes and improve yourself. For example, if you fail a test, you can use that experience to identify areas where you need to improve and work harder in the future. Similarly, if you make a mistake at work, you can use that experience to learn how to do things better in the future. By embracing failure and mistakes, you can become a better, more resilient person who is better equipped to handle challenges and overcome obstacles. Lesson 7. Recognizing the power of perspective and reframing negative experiences in a more positive light. The way you perceive a situation can greatly impact how you feel about it. By changing your perspective, you can reframe negative experiences in a more positive light. For example, instead of dwelling on a failed project, you can focus on the lessons learned and how it can help you in the future. This shift in perspective can help you feel more empowered and motivated to move forward. It's important to recognize that your perspective is not the only one. Others may have a different view of the same situation, and it's important to consider their perspective as well. This can help you gain a better understanding of the situation and potentially find a solution that works for everyone. Reframing negative experiences can also help you build resilience. By seeing challenges as opportunities for growth, you can develop a more positive outlook on life and become more adaptable to change. This can help you navigate difficult situations with more ease and confidence. Overall, Recognizing the power of perspective and reframing negative experiences can help you cultivate a more positive mindset and approach to life. It can help you find meaning and purpose in difficult situations and ultimately lead to a more fulfilling life. Lesson 8. Letting go of the need for constant validation and approval from others and finding self-worth from within. It's natural to want validation and approval from others, but relying on it for your self-worth can be detrimental. You may find yourself constantly seeking validation from others, which can lead to anxiety and stress. Instead, focus on finding self-worth from within. This means recognizing your own strengths and accomplishments and not relying on others to validate them. For example, if you're proud of a project you completed at work, don't wait for your boss to praise you. Recognize your own hard work and feel proud of yourself. By finding self-worth from within, you'll feel more confident and less reliant on others for validation. Lesson 9. Embracing the present moment and finding joy in the small things in life, rather than constantly striving for more. It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of bigger and better things, always striving for more. But in doing so, 
you may miss out on the simple pleasures of life that can bring you joy in the present moment. Instead of always looking ahead, take a moment to appreciate what you have right now. Maybe it's a beautiful sunset, a good cup of coffee, or a conversation with a loved one. By embracing the present moment and finding joy in the small things, you can cultivate a sense of gratitude and contentment that can improve your overall well-being. So, take a deep breath, look around you, and appreciate the little things that make life worth living. Lesson 10. Recognizing that happiness is not a destination to be reached, but rather a journey that requires ongoing effort and self-reflection. Happiness is not a destination that you can reach and then forget about. It is a journey that requires ongoing effort and self-reflection. You need to constantly work on yourself and your relationships to maintain a happy life. It is important to recognize that happiness is not something that can be achieved by external factors such as money, fame, or success. These things may bring temporary happiness, but true happiness comes from within. You need to focus on your own personal growth and development, and work on building strong relationships with those around you. This requires ongoing effort and self-reflection, as you need to constantly evaluate your own thoughts and behaviors and work on improving them. It is also important to recognize that happiness is not a constant state and that there will be ups and downs along the way. You need to be prepared to face challenges and setbacks and to work through them in order to continue on your journey towards happiness. Ultimately, the key to happiness is to focus on the journey rather than the destination and to embrace the ongoing effort and self-reflection that is required to maintain a happy life. Thank you for watching Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. If you found these lessons insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more condensed wisdom. Stay tuned daily for more.